Good morning, Sunday School. Pastor Steve here. Now at this point, Jesus has returned to heaven, and it's time for the disciples to get to work. In this series of lessons, we see how God's Holy Spirit empowers Peter to preach the gospel, heal people, and confront sin so that others might come to know Jesus as well. Our series verse comes from Romans 10.14, and it says, How then can they call on the one who they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? You see, this verse reminds us that the only way for others to believe in Jesus is for us to share the good news. Before today's story, let's spend some time in prayer and worship. Then we'll get into our lesson. Please join me, eyes closed, heads bowed. Gentlemen, hats off, let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this morning for a chance to get together to worship and praise you. And thank you also, Father, for the gift of the Holy Spirit that empowered not only Peter, but empowers us as believers to share the gospel, to tell others about Jesus Christ, his death and his life and his resurrection. God, we love you and we thank you in your precious and holy name. Amen.
One afternoon at three o'clock, two of Jesus' followers, Peter and John, went to the temple to pray. They saw a man sitting by the temple gate called Beautiful. Every day, the man's friends carried him to the temple because the man could not walk. As people entered the temple, the man asked them for money since he couldn't work. When the man saw Peter and John, he asked them for money. Peter and John said to the man, look at us. The man looked at Peter and John, expecting them to give him something. Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I will give you what I do have. Then Peter said, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Peter reached out and helped the man up. All of a sudden, the man's feet and ankles were strong. He could walk. In <laughs> fact, the man jumped and leaped around. He went into the temple with Peter and John and he praised God. The people in the temple saw that the man was healed, and they were filled with awe and astonishment at what had happened to him. After Jesus returned to heaven, the Holy Spirit gave the disciples power to begin working. With the power of Jesus' name, Peter healed a man who was lame. Peter and John showed God's power and pointed to a greater spiritual healing found in Jesus.
step. 